beautiful thing This love, not for you and me Be my Juliet and I'll be your own everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tammy Banjo well if it's your first time stopping here or you happen to stumble upon this amazing video please do me a favor and kindly subscribe to my channel I promise not to bore you and I promise to give you all the good stuff well if it's not your first time you know you came back to see me thank you very much hi how are you well I filmed a two in one video my hair and my makeup so this is just a simple look you can rock to a meeting to a party dinner date to class I can take this to class <laughs> anywhere that suits this look so I hope you have fun watching this video I'm starting with my Zaran primer and my Farsali rose gold I'm putting my Zaran primer in my t-zones and my Farsali oil on the rest of my face next I'm using my black opal stick foundation in the shade Caro and this is like my perfect shade like I did not have to mix or to put any other thing to make it my shade it was just right I'm going to use this brush to even the foundation out because I put it on my face in a very, you know, uneven way. And I'm going to use my brush to even it out, like I said, and make sure it looks smooth. Next, I'm using my beauty sponge to take away the shine on my face and to make sure the foundation sits in properly and to also even it out just in case the brush didn't do a perfect job. So you can as well ignore my niece in the background she was having a nice time next i'm going to highlight my face with my early girl pro concealer in the shade phone and this is going to highlight the center of my face that's under my eyes the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow my chin and my mustache what's it called oh my god my the top of my lips then i'm going to use my beauty sponge also to blend this into place and to make it smooth even and flawless so if you want to use a beauty sponge make sure it is wet as we all know and if it's dry good luck with that next i'm going to highlight my face oh, sorry i'm going to set my face with my sasha buttercup setting powder but before then i'm using this black opal powder in the shade I want to set the highlight before I move on to my setting powder this just makes your setting powder sit in properly and gives you even even spread like an even spread especially if you have if your under eye creases this is going to stop your creasing next I'm going to contour the sides of my cheek and to and warm up my skin with my LA girl powder in the shade cocoa this helps you to um, sculpt your cheeks and bring out a very very you know structured face on your face next I'm setting the rest of my face with my elegant powder also in the shade chestnut and I'm also going to use it to blend my contour and my highlight and dust off the excess setting powder I applied earlier and I'm going to be pressing this product into my skin I'm not swiping or swabbing I'm pressing this into my skin so wherever you see the highlight and the contour you can just put that in the middle that's a trick to make your like so to make your highlight and your contour blend together anywhere they stop you put your own face powder so there won't be any contrast next I'm going to move to my eyebrows and I'm using my Rimmel pencil to outline the shape of my eyebrow like the shape i want because i don't think i have any eyebrows and at this point i've given up because no matter how much i keep them they don't grow more than the way it is so i'm just going to draw on the shape i want and then use my spoolie to brush my hair into place and do the same thing to my other eyebrow and it's very easy doing this especially if you have your skin done already just make sure you know the kind of shape you want and be sure to do that evenly next i'm going to use my mac concealer in the shade nw40 to clean the bottom of my eyebrows to make it neat and make it look really nice this concealer has a very very thick consistency so a little goes a long way make sure you have on on your brush the amount you are sh sure to finish so you don't have to end up 
putting concealer all over your eyes and it, it comes down to your under eye your cheek area and so on next i'm using this brush to blend the whole concealer together so it fades down to my eyelid also i'm going to use the same powder i used to set my under eye the black opal powder to set the top of my eyebrow that's that's my brow bone i'm using to set the bottom of my eyebrow i'm going to use this bh eyeshadow palette here and i'm taking those two shades and i'm pressing this on to my eyelids nothing serious like that's why i told you guys this look is very very simple like you you just have to literally sorry you just have to literally press on the product on your eyelids nothing hard nothing serious like so and you can afford to leave this like this for an amateur like it's not important you have to do this part i'm doing here that's to put another color in my crease and if you are doing this remember to make a c cut so it looks really sculpted for your eyes like for your eyeshadow and this is where i go back and forth with my brushes blending the color i put in my crease so if you know you cannot afford to be going back and forth with brushes that's why i said earlier on that you can leave it at that stage where it was before so here i'm going back and forth with my brushes trying to make the eyeshadow blend and come out all together nicely so i put that color there and then the powder i used to set my under brow was what i was using to you know blend in the color next i'm going to draw my eyeliner on my eyes obviously and i'm going in with the wing this is a liquid eyeliner but i'm going to use um a gel liner on top of it later on but to get my wing right <laughs> i have to use this tiny eyeliner thing to you know draw it on next i'm going to use my inglot liner to line my waterline and here i had a smudge on my under eye it was really bad so i decided to make my eyeliner really really thick so this was this eventually turned out to be a smoky under eye like it was really smoked out then i'm going to contour the sides of my nose i realized contouring the sides of your nose after your eyeshadow is way way better next i'm using my hard candy bronzer to add some glow to my face and that's going to be on top of my contour and i'm also going to put that on my cupid's bow in the bridge of my nose my forehead and my chin next i'm using this blush from fashion fair to blend in my contour and my glow so it looks like one i mean my face has to look one i cannot afford to have everything standing separately so i'm going to use this to blend in my cheeks next i'm going to smudge the eyeshadow i used in my crease under my eye that's the dark purple one i'm using that to smudge my under eye and i'm adding some bronzer to my inner tear duct to give this eyeshadow a spark next i'm using my lip pencil from nika k and i'm using this you know shade wild cherry to line my lips next i'm using this lipstick it has a lipstick and a lip gloss it's really really nice i love it so much and the consistency is very 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 key and i'm using this lip gloss from nika k also and i'm using it to you know gloss up the lips you guys know i love my lip gloss so much so i'm going to spread this all over my lips and you know make my lips look nice mascara in setting for my eyelashes my falsies and this eyelashes is quite affordable i don't know if i'm allowed to say the name because i'm not sure but if i can i will in my next video next i'm going to use my mascara in my lower lashes to make my eyes look really really smoky and then my eco styling gel to set my eyebrows in place you guys this is magic this is a trick nobody taught me and the first day i tried it oh my god i had no choice but to continue so this is about it for the look and as you can see it was really really easy to put together nothing i mean nothing, nothing serious so please to see how i I made this hair how i styled my hair please move to the next video and be sure to subscribe if you haven't bye guys